Foot trip. Microphones on, excellent. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm the Northern Rider. Today, I don't actually... See, the thing is, I don't really have a topic for this at the moment. So some decent rambling's gonna have to go on for like the next 20 minutes or so before we chop this bitch right down. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm the Northern Rider and today... Oh. One minute. Oh, you got mail. So that's what's going on with this video today. Roll the credits. Thanks so much for tuning in again. I uh, really appreciate everyone coming back. Um, I'm going to try, this is the plan anyway, if you comment or if you subscribe, well, if you comment, I'm going to reply. If you subscribe, I'm going to name you at the end of the video, I think, probably, I think. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling on because <laughs> we want to know what's inside this now freshly ruined box. Where's me knife? Now, time for the open ceremony. Insert cheesy sword sound. I'm not going to bother showing you me opening this box. I'm just going to get you to look at this piat, as you will, as we say up here. Anyways, let's delve into this box. <clears throat> so, as it stands with. Um, Buying this item, or these items even, um, it was $99.99. I'm gonna get the proper price. I might just take a screenshot and just put it like here. Um, so, as of standards, it was $99.99 when I bought it. Um, it could go up, you never know. Anyways, <laughs> it's been here for like 10 minutes. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Been here like 10 minutes going, what's he talking about? He's talking shite. Anyways, what was that? I'm late to the game, I know. Everyone and their mother's dog's got one. Drop a post. Is this going to be the... Or can we do it again? Oh yes. Right, you send drop up seat post. Right, this is from Brand X, which is Chain Reaction Cycles. It's their own brand from what I've gathered anyway. I'm going to do a re proper review on this once I've given it a ride. <laughs> um, and once I've kind of seen exactly what this thing is all about. Um, in the past, um, Cameron, my friend who you've seen in previous videos, um, he often pointed out the fact that I had to kind of push my seat down, unscrew the, the clamp, push it down, reset it, things like that. This is going to make things a lot easier. For those who don't know what a dropper post are, um, these are um, basically it's got travel, like a fork stanchion, and you basically you push it down. If you sat on it, you just press your button, sit down, and it raises, uh, lowers your seat so that you, it goes up and down. So for example, if you're in a climb that you need to get your seat back up to the climbing height, you don't have to readjust it. You can basically just uh, press the button on the handlebar in your cockpit and then it goes shooting way up. And then when you want to go back down again to go to descend, push that mother down, away you go. I believe I'm probably sounding more Jody. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do like a video on like Jody catchphrases to see if people actually know. You know, like um, Aussie Man reviews when he does like guess the Australian slang. Aye. Anyways, um, I haven't fully fully opened it yet. It's got bits and pieces on there where you've got to 
unclip them and all that. Get out of the box. Right, hang on a minute, I need to get some scissors here. Right, back again. I got scissors and I. Aye. Right. Should do like a. But you pull it out like the Monty Python and the Holy Grail. <laughs> right, so I've got to explain a few things. I'm four foot four and a half. I'm tiny. Because I know he's all looking at me on camera and thinking that dude's massive, he's tall. No, I'm four foot. For no, hang on. Hang on. No, I'm five foot four and a half. I think I said that, no I can't remember. I'm five foot four and a half, right? The half makes all the difference and good stuff comes in little bundles as I've always been told. So, none of your shite. Anyways, um, so this is a Brand X dropper post. Um, it's the internal, because I've got a boss nut, kind of a boss nut Evo, and I can run this inside of the, the seat post. Oh, I don't even know the part names anymore. Um, yeah, so I'm quite, I'm intrigued, we'll find out, we'll see what happens. I'm really excited to get this on the bike, so what we're going to look at today is getting this on the bike. What's next in the box, he says? Something live in here, I think. Oh. <laughs> Just pulled them off. Right, um, yeah, so um, I got myself a pair of blue, got myself a pair of blue nuke proofs. And I've been looking at uh, chain reaction cycles for quite a time, just kind of browsing on there, you know, like having a coffee break and stuff like that. Always looking at things that I'm never gonna buy. You know how you, you know how it is. You sit there at work, using the works internet, looking at bike parts. I used to do it myself. Don't worry, that's what you should be doing. Because you should really be working. You should be on your bike really, shouldn't you? Nuke proof, neutron, Neutron, uh, nailed lock on grip, touched them for the first time and they feel absolutely unbelievable. Like they just feel so grippy. Again, I'm going to do a review on these. I think they're gonna look brilliant on the bike as well. The blue is slightly different to the um, DMR V8 that I've got on there. Also, I'm going to do a update on the bike as well, a year after, so that's another video as well. I did come across um, a guy who works, um, I call it Motorbike Hill, it's on Westgate Road. It's called Skinny Mick, so Skinny Mick, Skinny Mick Bike Repairs, I think it is. Um, I dropped it in today and he said there's going to be a few other people dropping things off and I think he was going to be really busy. Dropped it off this morning, he introduced himself, he was awesome and he was like yeah no worries i'll get it i'll get it sorted for you now and i was like now is in like now and he was like yeah yeah i'll probably get it done by like 11 ish like uh, near like fact so i dropped it in at like 9 9 9 30 i think it was um and he texted me literally 10 57 three minutes to 11. he said he would get it done by 11 done on 11. He had other bikes in there, he had other people bringing stuff in and he had more bikes came in after me as well. Got it done, got a text, um, what a guy. Um, yeah, if you if you live in the Northeast, which I'm assuming some of you aren't, and I know this is very specific to the Northeast, I'm sorry about that. If you live in the Northeast in Newcastle and you ride bikes, go and see Skinny Mick um, in his bike repairs. He's, he's the soundest bloke ever. Um, I did tell him I, I ran a YouTube page and I didn't mention I was going to mention him in this. So if you're watching this, you're a legend. Thank you very much. And I hope you enjoy those beers as well. So what we're going to do first, so we'll just jump into the garden. We're going to get the, the grips set up and put them on. I'm so excited to see how these look. Four, yes. And also, we're going to get the um, the dropper posted. I'm super excited for this. Like I'm, I feel like I've got into another dimension. Right, see you in a bit. Bye. Right, so outside, 
forgot to mention as well, I got these as well, chain reaction cycles. How cool are these? They're like mechanics gloves. Uh, right, so we're just gonna get these off. Once these are off, then we're gonna get them on the bike. But I think what we'll do is first, we'll take my bar, my, uh, my grips off, get rid of them, and then we'll get a good place to start with. So easy. It's just wedged. Yeah. So the whole thing's wedged. Don't, right, huh? I can't see anything because of the sun. Yeah, so. Don't know if you can see it. It's, you, get, you get the point anyway. So that's all wedged in there. Right, I came back with reinforcements. I've got some needle nose pliers um, and a, a thicker boy. I've also got this, which is going to stop the bar end from moving around on the, the bike. But you can also use rope as well, in case you were wondering. Get this out. To be honest with you, I didn't even notice. Yeah, I thought that would happen. I don't have anything to kind of blow it out. That's the problem as well. So I'm gonna have to... I don't really know. 12 seconds later. I've just pushed it in further. So you know how some people wedge like money in tubes, things like this. This is me get out a jail free card. So what I've conveniently, and what I'm supposed to do here, which is what I've done, I've managed to put, chop the bar end off, stuck it into the bar so that it doesn't go anywhere else. So if I want to stick a fiver in there, all over that cap there, ah, you see. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to move the bars. Um, I'm going to move the brake calipers because I don't know. Hang on a minute. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move them a little bit. I'm just going to loosen them so that they'll move down so that I've got the full the full length of the grip on the actual handlebar itself. <laughs> Useless at this. That's the grips done. The handlebars hold the grips, so to speak. So that's the grips done. <coughs> well, one of them grips done anyway. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fit that. Then we're going to move on to the dropper post. And then from the dropper post, I'll show you the whole bike in its completion. What's going on guys? Sorry for the interruption. Um, I just kind of wanted to cut the video um, in half a bit because it was just kind of running where it's already gone into like 14 minutes or something like that. I don't usually want to kind of have them that long. I just think anything over five minutes is kind of like, I know I don't really keep to that, but over five minutes is kind of like really pushing it, I think, to be honest with you. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just chop this video up into two. If you want to see longer videos, leave a comment down below. If you want to see like uh, shorter videos as well, also leave a comment. Which Whatever you prefer to see, just leave a comment down below. That would help me out immensely. Then I know what, exactly what people want to see. Um, if you haven't already, click the like button. And if you'd be an absolute legend, if you will, please click the subscribe button, that'd be absolutely amazing. Don't forget I have an Instagram page as well, which I post other content on there. I try to keep the Instagram and the YouTube kind of separate so that there's two different kind of mediums on there. Um, yeah, so 
Thanks so much guys, I really appreciate all the support. Um, you'll see the next part of this video. I'm either gonna do it next week or I'm gonna do it midweek. I'm not too sure yet, I may even do it sooner or later. Stay tuned to the video. If you click the bell notification as well, that's gonna tell you exactly when that video is gonna come out as well. So, thanks again guys, and don't forget, I'm the Northern Rider. Thanks for dropping in, and I'll see you in the next one.